Joe had no idea his life was about to change. Life's funny that way. Joe had arranged to meet up with Holly, the very person he'd been telling Tom about on their way to San Francisco. According to Tom, Holly was a wonderful host. She let them stay at her apartment, took them out, and showed them a great time. Why then would Tom recall that Joe seemed to be pretty down most of the evening? The answer would come the very next day as Joe and Tom drove away from Holly's across the Oakland Bay Bridge. Apparently, they sat in complete silence for approximately 15 to 20 minutes. However, the silence was finally broken with a heavy sigh from Joe followed by, I really messed up, didn't I? To which Tom replied, yeah man, she's pretty great. And here we are today. Joe Yates, it's our wedding day, dude. 10 years ago, if you had told me we'd be married, I don't think I would have been surprised at all. From the moment I laid eyes on you, I knew you were different. You made me feel something that I'd never felt before. It took us a long time to figure out what that was, but here we are, and I couldn't be more stoked. Sometimes I have to pinch myself when I look at you and realize that I'm the one that gets to spend forever with you. Polly P, I am in love with you. When I told you I wish I'd marry you November 1st, 2006, I meant it. But, better Yates than never, right? You're the most genuine person I've ever met. You don't know how to be anything but who you are, and you crush it, dude. I'm in awe every day at how you approach life, and I'm the luckiest man to be on this ride of life with you. I realized that Joe not only found a beautiful bride, he found a woman with a depth for such caring and such compassion that depth of character convinced me that Joe has found his perfect match in Holly. When I've talked to Holly about Joe, I can see in her eyes and through her words that he is her person. When it happened, it was like a light bulb went off. It was so clear the universe finally figured it out and brought these two together at the right time. y'all look at each other, the way y'all talk to each other, like it's incredible. And um, I'm so glad that I have another sister in my life and um, I wish y'all the best. Joe, I'm not sure if you remember this, but you told me all the different qualities you wanted in a wife. It was a long, specific, ambitious list that seemed a bit unattainable, to be honest. But as we all know, Joe sets his sights high in all parts of his life. And, as we also all know, he accomplishes what he sets his mind to. After I met Holly, I almost immediately remembered the list and realized that my little brother had found his match. Luckily, Joe finally realized the same. As you remember, I asked the girl of my dreams, you, to marry me. You also remember that I was uncontrollably shaking after I think you said yes, although not sure if you actually said it. I knew from that day forward I was going to be the best version of myself because of you. I will always be there for you and stand by you when you want a companion. Stand behind you when you want support and stand in front of you when you want me to be the man. Obviously, I'm referring to my handyman skills. <laughs> I promise to always stay as loyal and genuine, as resilient as the girl that you fell in love with. I'll keep those values at my core and I'll make sure those are always my three words. I promise that I will always support you in everything that you do in any way that I can. I will follow you to the ends of the earth, wherever the Navy may send us. I will ride this roller coaster of life with you, every high and every low. You're more than my best friend and my husband. You're my partner in all things. You're the person that I will build my life with and around, and I promise to never take you for granted. I will put you above any other person, and I always look through the lens of standing in your shoes and all that I do. Of all the titles and roles and labels I'll ever have, the most important will be your wife. 
It's the best and most right decision I've ever made in my life. It will define me more than anything else that I ever become. I promise to believe in you, be patient with you, and to trust you. As we grow old together, I promise to continue to grow with you and to challenge each other to become the best versions of ourselves. Polly P, you have my whole heart. You have my love and dedication. And now, you have my last name. Also, you look gorgeous. I told you I wanted a wedding to see you walk down the aisle in that white dress, and you crush it, dude. <laughs> Most of all, I promise that I will never stop loving you. This is one of the things that I know. I can't imagine that I could ever love you more than I do in this moment, but I know that you'll prove me wrong because somehow I'm more in love with you today than I was yesterday. These are all just words, and you know how I feel about that. So I also promise that my actions, my choices, and my sacrifices will give meaning to these words, and I'll show you that you have my whole heart, today and forever. And now, by the power of your love and commitment, and the power vested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Joe, you may kiss the bride. Yeah. Thank you.